Mount Kilimanjaro, also known as the Roof of Africa. The summit is called Uhuru Peak at 5,895 meters. Hey, my name is Salo and I'm from Follow Alice. This September, my friend Dan and I, we wanted to climb Mount Kilimanjaro. And so did Paolo, Rafaela and Katrin. Dan, he flew from Copenhagen, uh, where I met him, and we went to Kilimanjaro together. The rest of the group flew from Vienna and then joined us in Kilimanjaro. Our trip to Kilimanjaro started in Arusha, where we from there went to our lodge for the night. In the morning, we got a briefing from Chris, our lead guide. Chris has been on Summit more than 200 times. So I would like to take this opportunity to let you guys meet Chris. Hey, my name is Christopher. I'm a mountain guide, full route chief guide. I'm a lead tour leader for Follow Alice. I started as a supporter in 1999. I did it for seven years, up to 2006 when I became a guide. And uh, been a guide up to that. And uh, I love what I'm doing. I love my job. I enjoy it very much. And uh, yeah, and one of the things makes me love this job is that uh, I meet with different people from different parts of the world, different races. And uh, I would like to tell everyone they should come and try and do Kilimanjaro. It's easy and Anybody can climb it, non-technical, yeah, and uh, with good uh, preparation, definitely we'll make it. Uh, I can say the most important thing to bring is just yourself and all the gear, determination. Uh, what you should have is a positive mental attitude. It's very, very important on Kilimanjaro. And uh, when you hear, always smile, laugh, yeah, take in the view and uh, you'll be okay. After the briefing, we got picked up and we were ready to go to Londorossi Gate. Today there are only three hours of walk, so that will be fine, so we are well prepared. We did a pit stop to get snacks and batteries for our head torches. Oh, Masaya, this is my friend. Say hello. Yes. Sit there a long time, I think. Hello. <laughs> Tanzania in general, and especially Kilimanjaro, is a fascinating place. From vast open terrain to warm, kind hearted people. It's a three-hour drive from the Kigongoni Lodge to Lundarossi Gate. We paid our park fees and I even got a chance to say hello to the porters. The porters are the backbone of the trek. They are local people from all walks of life who will be carrying all the heavy stuff and that's including our water, our food, tents, to ensure the safety of the porters, there's a lot of regulations in place. So before going on the mountain, the porters has to be weighted and to make sure that they do not carry more than 20 kilos each. And also important that they stay safe and have good equipment. And then there was lunch time. After 30 minutes or so, we were at the Moshe Gate and we were ready to go. Today we just had our first day, so we started at the gate. Um, 
where we had to pay everything and so on, and then we started to hike. We had a relatively short and maybe also easy hike compared to the other days, and it was quite good. Um, it was quite hot because we were in the rainforest. We did like like 600 um, high, high meters. That was really good. As soon as we reached camp, the Porta Star is setting it up and setting up the tents, the toilet, and we are getting ready to settle for the day. Imkubwa is at 2,895 meters, uh, so we are actually already very high up. We also quickly discovered the wildlife around Kilimanjaro. There was a lot of animals and amazing flowers. It's a short day today, but it's take a long time because we only go about two kilometers an hour. So uh, it takes some time, but it's, you can call it baby walking. That's always say pull it, pull it, because we should go slowly because of height. It was quite warm, so that was good, but then it was a bit hard and uh, lots of animals. <coughs> so yeah, the first time was okay. I think we're getting used to it, hopefully. Now we're ready for breakfast. Don't know. <laughs> That's porridge! <laughs> porridge. It's kind of hard to sleep at the, in altitude, and we definitely felt that, as this was our first night. Today we have eight hours of hiking ahead of us to shear one camp. Well, we'll have our lunch and then we will go to Shira 2 camp uh, to camp for the night. We started in dense rainforest yesterday and it's very visible how the terrain changes all the time. Actually, I put this blister plaster on and that spot tape and that helped a lot, so I don't feel it almost. I'm good, I'm great. Today has been really cool, so we started with a lot of climbing more or less and then we had a great lunch and now we are walking more or less on a platform, but that's fine. <laughs> Which one? You mean you? <laughs> <laughs> It's quite amazing how they can cook on the mountain actually. Very simple equipment and the cook does his magic. How long did we hike today, Christopher? Uh, it's, uh, seven to nine hours. Seven to nine hours? Yeah. And uh, you got hours. feet like this. A lot of dust. <laughs> A lot and of the, dust. Yeah, this is Shira one here. Shira one camp? Yeah. Shira one camp. Look all that dust. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's too much dust on the road. Ah. It went very well. I think uh, in total seven, eight hours but with a short break. But the hike was really, really beautiful. Weather was perfect, quite hot, and now very happy to be at uh, 3,850 meter in uh, Shira 2 camp. And have you felt anything with the altitude? Um, yeah, I have a bit of a headache. I'm not sure if it comes from the sun, but I think it's a combination, probably. And uh, but I think the rest is feeling fine. Day three, Shira two camp. Today we have a four-hour hike uh, to Liver Tower. 
and then a two to three hour hike before reaching Barranco camp. It's gonna probably be around a total of 10 kilometers today. Um, and we're gonna climb 820 height meters. Last words we can say, please just be yourself. This will never change. Some of my friends forgot our names. What can I say? How do you shake? Please just be yourself. Be yourself. today um, lack of energy lack of sleep are we getting there going up to the level tower and uh, body, body, one step at a time and hopefully we get there soon <laughs> but yeah it's not fun today I mean, we, none of us in the team has actually felt any altitude sickness no headache or anything which is a good sign uh, but I must admit I am tired Leva Tower is at 4,630 meters and here is really the first test to altitude. Uh, if you like ourselves, we've never been this high up, we could definitely, definitely feel a difference. From Levata we climb back to 3,976 meters to Barranco Camp. And this is solely done for optimizing the acclimatization. So it's what they call walk high, sleep low. You can really feel the difference for every 10 meters you walk down from such an altitude. Ground cells are native to Kilimanjaro and actually only found here. Soon enough, we found ourselves in a whole different terrain. What are you doing, Kim? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not taking you serious. You shouldn't. The most exciting part. <laughs> Arriving at the camp. I don't know. Arriving <laughs> at the camp. <laughs> <laughs> I like the flowers or the, the trees or the vegetation we saw so tonight, uh, to, tonight, today. And with the waterfall, it was pretty nice. Mm -hmm. So I didn't expect this landscape for today, so that was a highlight, I would say. Yeah. Day 4, Barranco Camp. Sleep well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. As good as you can sleep on almost 4,000. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got a big task ahead of us today. There's a big, there's a wall. This is the wall. I'm in the wall today. We have a lot of streams. We passed a lot of streams before starting the wall. Here at Barranco, water throughout the year. Even when it's very dry, there are some other camps, water dries completely, but here... It's so always water? Yeah, always water. Here and Karanga. Uh, my knee is painting me. My pain is killing me. But um, we try with a little bit of swaldsman game. Today we climbed the Barranco wall at 4,233 meters and then we're going to spend the rest of the day climbing down back to 3,700 meters to go to Karanga camp. 
And this is ideally for acclimatization. So first thing first, that was the wall. Barranca wall, or as the porters call it, the breakfast wall, is 257 meters. And that is literally the first thing you do in the morning after breakfast. We came by a narrow pass called the Kissing Stone and a very intimidating drop off. What up, Celo? <laughs> nice. Good Kissing Stone. Today I want to go to Karanga Valley and it's better to go to Polipoli than no rush. Polipoli is good and to Karanga camp. Uh, from way up to Karanga I will take uh, three hours up to there. Yes, yes. And the place when you are, you are in to Karanga, the elevation is uh, 3995. After that we climb almost 500 meters down before climbing back up again to Karanga camp. This is the so-called washi-washi. This is basically the hand wash and shower you'll have on Kilimanjaro. Simple life, less is more. And you get on with it. How is it? Nice. You can forget about any beauty, it doesn't exist on a mountain. <laughs> I don't care. Okay. Yeah, I think on first on the first day we just um, give up on beauty. Catherine, doing, Catherine, we're brushing our hair. That's the only we're beauty we have. Brushing our teeth and that's about it. <laughs> and it's warm. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <sighs> the view at Karanga camp are breathtaking. Day five. Karanga Cam. <laughs> it looks 
different. What are we looking at? Delicious morning porridge. <laughs> it looks like rice, right? Yeah. It's a reason to wake up every morning. It's really sweet and uh, just not salty at all. Just tastes very good. Everyday meals are served by Safiri. Safiri is an amazing guy. He's our waiter and he always brings the food with a big smile on his face. So today is day five. We had Karanga camp. Uh, we slept quite early and got up quite early as well. The seven o'clock. We only have three hours uh, to go to the next camp. We're gonna rest and then we do the nice summit. Um, so we get a little bit of rest and keep waking up in the middle of the night. <laughs> Today we head for Barafu Camp. Barafu Camp is at 4,673 meters. It's going to be a short hike because we're going to reserve energy for the summit night. Today's climb is steep. We're gonna climb 678 meters in around three to four hours. every camp we had to sign in at the rangers camp yeah all my luggage got lost so we moved on friday uh, through um, Vienna, what was the other? Addis Abeba. Addis Abeba to Kilimanjaro, but my luggage never arrived <laughs> and it was lost till yesterday, so now they know where it is. So I have all my gear and everything. What, what I would have needed was in there, so yeah, I had to borrow all the stuff from, from you guys. Yeah, because um, I had nothing. <laughs> and I will do hopefully the summit without my gear. <laughs> what do you learn about that? You don't need any equipment. <laughs> At the end, you need good friends. It was an early night because we had to get up at midnight to do the summit push. Day six. Summit day. Barafo camp at 4,673 meters. Tonight is the summit climb. Starting at midnight, we begin the eight hour hike to the summit. The summit hike is seven to eight hours at Tuyuhuru Peak, elevating 1,200 meters over a five kilometer distance. This is one of the hardest things that you will ever do, but it's really, really worth it.
After the summit, we'll be descending down to Imwika camp. This was hard. Not like a thing about uh, to be uh, so hard, but uh, it's beautiful up there. I have. Uh, I think it's going a little bit easier, but uh, in the height you have to have a good cardio for for do the summit. I think you will uh, get a better trip to the summit. A little bit emotional when you have uh, walked the whole way up there and you have fucked yourself up. <laughs> Uh, and uh, you see out uh, over Africa and you can see the glitches and all that stuff is, is do something with you. Jumbo! Well done. Did you like new people? Especially after the walk just now. Didn't get much rest, right? No, we didn't know it just had that much. So the day was pretty hard. We had a bad tea at I think at 10 and at 11 we started to the summit. Um, Pala had a bit of attitude sickness, she, was, she vomited, uh, Catherine was not feeling very well, my stomach was hurting, so we were like, really, we had to stop, I don't know, a lot. And for that, but at the end we did it, and we have been at the summit, so everything good. And after that, we came down, and now we are at the camp, and I think I didn't... I haven't slept for I don't know how many hours, but today will be good. I'm happy that we've done it <laughs> and it's over and tomorrow we get a proper shower. <laughs> so we'll, I think we're all looking forward to it. We took the chance to relax uh, and get ready for the tipping ceremony. The tipping ceremony is an essential and customary way to say thank you uh, to the mountain crew and a tradition on Kilimanjaro. <laughs> Exactly as we thought it would be, like uh, like properly organized, everything went really smooth. The team is like on the ground is great, Chris is great. Um, yeah, so I think everything went super well. And then, of course, reaching the summit uh, makes it even better, better experience, especially for like young people, like group of friends. I mean, for us. Rafaela, Paolo and myself, we were like three friends, so it was very important that we are like in a small group when we can still be like three of us but also meet some other nice people and just have the same like age. And, I mean everyone is super nice, like the the guides are super nice and then also like the I mean, like the porters and like toilet men, they're all super friendly and you can uh, have a good time with them and like the toilet men went with 
us to the summit as well, which was really helpful actually. <laughs> so carrying our luggage down and we couldn't do it anymore. So yeah, it's just a great team and I think it's it's really important to have the right team on the ground so you can kind of enjoy it to the fullest. Yeah.